Welcome back guys. So we have some awesome content for you today. This is gonna be another installment of our Make Money with Woodworking and the Power of Smalls. So I've been getting tons of feedback from people that really like these episodes. So from time to time, I'm gonna keep putting them out. So for anyone out there that has not watched any of the other videos, what this is all about is breaking down popular items from popular stores. And I will show you how they made those and how you can replicate that. But the basis to all of this is the power of smalls, the money-making potential of smalls. And if you haven't seen any of the previous episodes, check those out because I explain everything from the business aspect and what makes smalls so powerful. Low cost, high profit. That is our goal. Before we jump into this video, I have a special thanks going out to Kurt Martin with s and Designs. He noticed that there was a bare spot on my wall and asked me if he could make me something to go there and I said sure so he took my logo and made this awesome sign check it out the logo so thanks again Kurt it looks awesome there and if anybody needs anything like this done I'm gonna throw a link into the description so you can check him out and while you're there make sure to check out our patreon our community is growing like crazy and the brag board the brag board is awesome I'm getting messages and photos daily of your builds and I love it great job guys keep it up and I will be posting some of those at the end of this video so I have a lot to cover so let's go ahead and dive into this so I'm gonna be showing you a mixture of smaller builds from different places and we'll break those down and I'll teach you how they made those. And I have made sure to throw in some fall items because right now you need to be getting ready for that. People are gearing up from fall and then we'll roll right through that into Christmas. And whenever these big box stores start moving into a different season, you need to start moving into a different season. Okay, so this first one, this one is actually from Kirkland's and it is stacked pumpkins. And a lot of these are gonna be decor items. You'll start to notice a trend. Every single year, there's gonna be something that is hot, something that is in. And you'll notice multiple items that weren't in last year that are in now. That's the trend that you need to follow. This is one of those. Almost all of the home decor places that I kind of check out to see what's going on had these in some sort. Super easy to make and they want $60 for this thing. It's only five inches wide. So obviously, Obviously the back of it is made out of one board. So five inches wide, fence picket. You're gonna hear me mention fence pickets quite a bit, but keep in mind that it does not have to be fence picket material. You can use any type of material that you would like. I say fence picket because you can get them for a couple bucks a piece. So let's say that we're making this out of fence picket material. The back of this design is just connected. So you would just jigsaw this out. This particular one is actually pretty large. It's 27 inches long, five inches wide. And then the front is just extra pieces of that you would make those shapes, glue, nail it on, and paint it up with fall colors. So for one fence picket, again, two bucks in my area, you can make two of these. They're selling them for 60 bucks. You would have a dollar a piece in there, plus your time, paint, things like that. If it were me, I would be selling these for $20, and I think at $20, they would sell all day. And this is another version of the stacked pumpkins. Again, I told you that this is in this year. So in this version, it is just a single board. And that's all that they have done instead of adding pieces to the front. They're taking a Dremel tool or a router with a V-bit and cut those grooves of the pumpkin in there. Piece of pie. Actually, pumpkin pie which I do not like. So for this one, guys, I had to throw this one in here. This was on Kirkland's fall decor section. They list this as a 24 by 18 window frame. This would be super easy to make. And again, you can literally make this with one fence picket and it's on sale right now for 140 bucks. So if you don't want to spend the two bucks on a fence picket to make it, you can pick one up for $140. So there's the advertising for them. It looks like that they've used two inch material all the way around the edges. And that is a butt joint. Easy Craig pocket hose in the back. The center part I actually had to zoom in just because they have so much junk around it. They have one board and it's a one inch board that's going all the way down that is connected to your frame. And then it's actually another thin board behind it. They don't even connect in the center. They just overlap. So it makes it even easier to build. I would cut a one inch strip and then turn it on its edge and split it. Put one in front, one behind it, throw a drawer pull that you have laying around or you can pick them up for really cheap. Stage it up like this so people can see what it would look like in their house. Actually put something in the center just like that because that's actually really good staging and you will sell these. If you didn't have any of that decor around it, it would look pretty plain. But the way that they have it dressed up, people can see what it would look like in their house. You're doing the visualization for them. 
them. And that's what you have to do. That's why big companies like this, they always have everything staged up. That way that the customer can visualize what it would actually look like in their setting. So of course, do not try to compete with Kirkland. Do not try to get $140 out of this because you will not get it. And this is something that you're going to want to sell because out of one fence picket, you can make this. That's a $2 cost to you. I wouldn't do just the brown. I would offer multiple different options. Do the distressed white, even the teal. The teal colors are coming in with a distressed background. So put your twist to it and you'll have no problem selling these things for $30 or $40 a piece. And this next one is from the Pottery Barn, the PB. Remember, we're just going to say PB. So this is my version. Didn't go quite as dark. One fence picket, that's what this took. They want $80, this cost me $2. We're making this out of fence pickets. I'm gonna cut three boards down to 16 and a half inches long. So next I'm going to draw a 12 inch star out. Now I'm gonna put this actually onto a piece of cardboard. That way I can cut it out and use it as a template to make multiples. Once you get your template, just trace that out in the center. Again, these are not connected. And then we will just take a jigsaw and cut these pieces out. Once you have your star all cut out, it's time to put the trim on and go ahead and stain paint, do whatever you would like to do to that before you put that on. This is what is going to be holding everything together. It is as simple as that. And you saw how easy that was. And again, this is one fence picket. They're selling them for $80 a piece. I'm thinking that you can get $20 or $30 a piece out of these because what makes it different is the shape being made with the negative space and you not actually cutting out the shape. Every time I do videos like this, I get asked if I have plans for these types of builds. I typically do not. So for this one, since it is pretty cool, I'm going to make a cheap little plan, throw it in my Etsy shop, and I'll actually include a 12 inch printable template for this star. I'll make sure to link that into the description for anybody that's interested. This would be an awesome money maker because it is an evergreen type of a product, which means that it can sell year round. So for right now, you can decorate this up for fall if you would like. You can do fall colors, paints, things like that, but just make sure that you have plenty of different display options for the customer to choose from. Then this next one is interesting because again, I've seen it on multiple sites. So this is in. Remember I told you that Pottery Barn was the only place on earth that could sell stick well they're not there's a lot of places selling these and you need to try to sell these that's all that they have done is taking a dry limb so if you know anyone that sells firewood that actually has firewood hit them up because they will not care at all to get rid of some of the small stuff these are the limbs okay that's all that they are doing is they're making rounds these rounds make perfect little coasters but what I've seen a lot of people doing with these different styles is that they are using them for decorations. So the possibility of free wood can be made into a 50 or $60 wreath. You can just glue these things together and around. I put a little something behind it just to support the circle design. That's all that this is, is a dried branch. And I've seen tons of things like this, Weddings. Weddings are going crazy for this. And that's all that I did was went to my firewood pile, pulled out a log, a little piece, and cut it on the miter saw. If you want larger ones and you do not have a chainsaw or you're not comfortable using one, I'm sure that you know someone that does. Hit them up for some couple inch thick slabs. People are paying a fortune for this stuff. It is firewood. You sand it, you throw a little finish on it, then it is a decoration. And that is exactly what Pottery Barn has done with this. This is just a round. 80 bucks you can buy this. To me, it is just firewood that has been cleaned up. And a lot of people think that just because wood ends up in the firewood pile, that it is not any good, that it's cheap wood. That is actually the opposite of the case in most situations, because if someone is selling firewood, they are in with a logger of some type. And what do loggers want? They want money trees. They're going after oak, walnut, cherry, but these pieces are too small for them. They cannot make lumber out of it. And that's how it ends up in the burn pile. So something slated to be burnt, selling for 70 nine bucks as easy as this was to make it literally took me about five minutes i'd make a set of these maybe sell them for 15 20 a piece and people will love them make a post of these staged up different sizes shined up like this and actually put on their wedding decor these are huge right now for weddings especially fall weddings larger ones are great for cake plates and, and the smaller ones are good for decorations on tables firewood you're actually taking trash and turning it into cash that was a little corny, but I actually didn't mean for it to come out like that, but it rhymed and it just went with it. We all know that cutting boards have been in for a while, but the PB must have noticed that there was a decrease in sales of that current design and they shook it up. They changed it to this. This is actually pretty cool. This is thinking outside of the box. It's clean 
and it's super simple to make. And this is not inlaid in. If I actually zoomed in and looked at this, that's all that they've done is made their original square cutting board. And then that's all that you have to do is cut it. So those strips of wood that are going horizontal, those are glued in after they have cut this board. So they've taken their cutting board, they've cut it into three sections, then inserted the one or two inch strips going horizontal and glued it back together. That's it. And that's what gave it this cool creative look. These are hot right now because they're doing it in every shape and every design. So make sure to jump on this. Remember, we jump on what's hot right now. This is another example without the paint so you can actually see what's going on underneath. Same thing. That's all they're doing is slicing their cutting boards and then adding a strip, gluing everything back together. Once it's glued, give it a final sand down for these ready to roll. And the PB is actually selling these right now for $159 for the larger one. So depending on the size and the type that you make, price it accordingly. You know what they're getting out of it. Don't try to get anything near that. But check that out and see how that they made all these different shapes. These are considered cheese boards, okay? So they're getting away from charcuterie and all that stuff. These are cheese boards now. Last week they were charcuterie boards. This week they're cheese boards because charcuterie is going out, cheese boards are coming in. Super easy to make and there is a ton of money to be made off of these, especially if you sell them in sets. Be known for being creative with what you build and what you do and you will have people coming to you for all kinds of things. I love builds like this where simple concepts and the creativity behind them create its value. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you can take some of these ideas put your twist to it and run with it. There are so many of these that you can just shake it up a little bit and your items will be completely different. And that is what it takes to sell. I make fun of a lot of these items on here, but they are on here because they are selling. You may can sell for a fraction of the price what people want from these big box stores, but simply can't afford it and you are going to sell this stuff like crazy. Like I said at the beginning, the brag board has been going crazy so I'm going to roll some of those now. These brags are awesome. Look at the creativity that has gone into these things. So they've taken ideas from our channel and they have grown with those. They put their own twists. I love it. Keep it up, guys. I want you to continue to do what you're doing. Wake up every day and do not go to sleep until you have learned something new. So until next time, guys, Go out there, get creative, and make that money. See ya.